Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Rimworld, uh, Rimworld Royalty, uh, Champions of Grim. Or what, what did we call them? Rebel Champions, that's it. Um, sorry, I'm a little distracted. Uh, we had a, uh, there was a huge update uh, before this, uh, before I started playing here. Uh, and I read the update notes, and it, they, it's a, it's a cool update, but it kind of changes our game. Uh, it was an update mainly to the Royalty DLC, which we're using here, and it it especially changes our role playing. It changes a lot about um, the the royalty stuff and how they interact with us. Um, apparently, they changed psychic stuff especially. Uh, and Eriwax isn't here, so it's a little hard to take a look at it. Um, you may notice looking at Eriwax and also looking at Seraphix that the psychic um, silencer is gone. They got rid of that. Which is really good, because it means that we no longer have this big pain deficiency to our colonists. And Eriwax's harmonizer is now actually going to be a lot more positive for everyone. But they also changed, and we can't see it here, uh, but they changed just how psychic stuff works. They also added more psychic abilities. Um, like there's one that uh, produces water. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't take a really close look at all of them. But it means we have more psychic abilities to get. Uh, the psychic... And the Psychic Amplifier has been renamed to Psylink, um, and it's just all different. So, basically, one of the big changes is that Psychic Powers are no longer illegal uh, under the Empire. It's no longer an illegal thing. Even tribal people can develop them. Um, and same with Blade Link weapons for people like Seraphix. The Blade Link weapons are no longer illegal. So... Uh, yeah. Uh, also, I think we've had quests in the past where... Um, uh, where we were hostile with the Red Empire, but they gave us royal favor. They stopped that, which makes sense. That was just a bit of a... <laughs> something they needed to get rid of. Um, it just never made sense, really. Uh, we do want to get rid of... all this fire, please. Um, psychic... people that have psychic powers now have, like... there's a new mechanic. Uh, they still have... They're like psychic entropy, but it's called something different now. And now they also have like psi focus, which they have to build up through meditation um, if they're going to be using the psychic powers a lot. And that's how they regain their psychic energy. So it's it's pretty different, and it's going to be hard to see until Eriwax gets back. But it's a pretty big change. Um, so we're not going to change the main thrust of the role playing for us. We're still going to be enemies of the Red Empire. Um, we're not really changing how we're doing anything. It just might change, like, what Eriwax does with most of his time. And it has the positive change of having everyone a little happier because Eriwax will be happier and Eriwax has the harmonizer. So that's good. Uh, they also changed Sly Focus armor. It's now called Eltex armor, which uh, I think it's just a naming thing because Sly Focus is now something specific. It's now a new mechanic. So I think they, they didn't want people to get confused about that. Um, designed for psychic focusing. So I think it might... Wearing this armor might increase... Well, it does increase the psychic sensitivity. And dissipates neural heat. Neural heat is the new, like, psychic entropy. It's what it's called now. Um, but it... I don't know if it increases his rate of meditation. Uh, we might need to try that out. We don't have a lot of food right now. It, I think we are hunting. And there's a uh, mega slot down here. But let's wait till... Yuri Wax gets back before we do that. I mean, I hear hunting going on. Rosalie. Yeah, good. Um, animals. One one other change. Animals now slaughtered by, like, clicking on an animal you know and clicking slaughter. You have 50% more meat, which encourages ranching a little more. Uh, let's get rid of this turkey. Are you eating our food, Boomalo? Yep, you just ate it. Should I get rid of these? Should I tame them? Should I build a fence around our growing area here? Because these boomalops are eating everything. Maybe I should build a fence? It would be nice if there was like a, an actual fence that like people could get through, but animals couldn't. A party! Yudoki is throwing a party. Lovely. It's a nice party space. Um, are we gonna... So we already have our first harvest of the season. Uh, our rice, which is very nice. Stop eating our food. I, mean, I could tame them for chem fuel. 
not that we need i mean we might need it for stuff later uh i mean they're grazers although we would have to feed them in the winter perhaps hmm yeah i think i'd rather just kill them but we'll have to wait till it rains uh grizzly bear party nice love a grizzly bear party uh we are still trying to recruit lincoln here who uh looks awesome except for being slothful but other than that uh you'll be very nice to have i think even though you can't fight heneron union heneron union i don't remember that oh yeah rough outlander union a little bit hostile cool 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 so everyone will get a little happy from this party except for eerie wax and seraphix who are traveling back uh, from the social quest that we sent them on. And they'll be back in about a day. All right, let's speed things along. Um, it's been... I did take last week off from recording because I was feeling kind of ill. I was feeling ill. Um, and I mostly recovered. So the... I don't remember what we were doing, what we were kind of focusing on. We built these nice bedrooms. I think we want to get more flooring. We definitely want cloth for some uh, competent cook. Ooh, Jet? Jet should be cooking. Is anyone else cooking? Oh, possibly Jar Jarvis is an amazing cook. Yeah, no one should be incompetent, so sorry about that, Ariokis. Um I'm a little getting a little concerned about the food. But now that we're now that we actually have some food and other stuff is planted, I don't think we should really need to worry too much. And we'll continue hunting. It'll be good. Um, so, yeah. Next project. Well, we may want to consider, uh, and I think we've talked about this, doing having an attack on the Red Empire sooner than later. Um, we want to make sure that we're equipped enough to do it, but I think... I mean, I think we may be. We may be ready for it. Uh, until we get enough cloth, we can't really do too much with the bedrooms and stuff. Uh, we've started making art... Uh, we're making... Yeah, we actually have a couple of art stations here. We're still researching. Right now we're researching the harp, <laughs> which should be quick and easy. And then I think we're, we'll are um, do something a little more productive. But what? So we can do medicine now, right? We got we got medicine production, yes. Um, we want to go for a multi-analyzer next. We're going to want all of these special things. All these special new research things. Um, why can't we get... Oh, we need... So if we want brain wiring... Oh, we also need prosthetics. That does make sense. We might get prosthetics next. A lot of these things require prosthetics. Yeah, they all do, pretty much. All right, speed things along. And there are a bunch of new changes. I, I definitely did not go over all of them. Um, I have it on my screen to the right, but let's I'm not going to just like go over everything. Uh, they changed some quest stuff. Um, quest now offer three re reward options, apparently. That's a really nice change. Um, it's not as realistic, I guess, but it's nice. I mean, I guess it's realistic. Dangerous food type. Oh, did you run out of uh, meals? Uh, where's the alpaca? Yeah, I think we ran out of meals, so that's fun. Well, you're almost home. You'll slow down with the food poisoning, but hopefully you'll be okay. Um, quests have been deeply reviewed and tuned to give good rewards. Yeah, run out of food. That's not great. We'll make it home. You can, you can not eat for half a day, all right? All right, we got the heart. Now let's do... Uh, let's pause it. Um, I think prosthetics real quick. Great. All right, Samantha, go go back and do it. Uh, please. Oh, I can also get rid of that home area I had set for the fire. Otherwise, they're going to be, like, cleaning that. We don't want that. Okay. And I can probably get rid of a lot of this other home area, too. Whoops. 
still want where there's um, wires. I just don't want them cleaning dirt, which is still kind of silly that they do that. I feel like um, they should change that in the game. People shouldn't clean dirt, even if it's in the home area. Um, yeah. Okay. That's, that's fine for now. Uh, Samantha, playing horseshoes. Why aren't you researching? Okay. Good. I could get a second high-tech research bench, I suppose. We should also build, like, a lab, too. These things aren't affected by the tool cabinets. It'd be nice to have a nice lab instead. And give us more space for other workshops. Oh, uh, yeah, we could do that. Um, run to his food, poison, and comedy. Man, Jet, what's wrong with you? Are you sick or something? Like, your cooking skill is just fine. Um, yeah, food. Food could be better. We're hauling in the rice, but we're using it to cook. Jet, what are you doing? Cutting blocks, really? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, so you're... Do we need more hunting? Oh, we are right. We're trying to tame those donkeys. Um, do we want to hunt more? I think we do. Let's take a look at our wildlife. Two mega sloths. You know what? Let's let's hunt both. Well, no. Let's wait till Earwax and Seraphix get back for those. But hunt these turkeys. And maybe the ibises. Eh, they're kind of far. Lynx. Uh, could be dangerous. Oh, that turkey's far away. Don't don't hunt that one. Ah, I guess that's one near the ibises. Jet's already going to do it. Um. Yeah, we'll hunt. We'll hunt more stuff when. Seraphix and Eerie Wax get back, which hopefully should be soon. We've got to prevent some of the animals from uh, eating our crops. But we can't really put just a box around all this. I don't want to I don't want to interrupt the road here. The ancient asphalt road. I'm not sure what the best course of action is for that. I think just killing more animals. <laughs> but the boomalopes are annoying to kill. Uh, okay. People have generally okay bedrooms, right? Uh, dull. The wealth is poor. Even with the excellent furniture? And beds and everything? Yeah, I guess they really don't like the dirt floors. Well, we're trying. We have a lot of cotton planted. I say a lot. We have a... Yeah, we do. We have... Two big patches of cotton. It's a lot of cotton. Um, I think that was an animal being attacked by another animal. That noise. Somewhere. Yeah. I see blood. I see a lynx. But you may have eaten the entire animal. I don't know. Ah! Earwax met a caravan. Uh, let's trade with you. From the eastern Laterbium. Uh, we have nothing. Well, we have a muffalo, but uh, I don't know if it's worth trading you. Uh, you do have an Eltex helmet, which would be nice. But we we literally have we have a couple of bed rolls. Yeah, sorry. Um, we're just gonna move on. You're almost home. You're very close to being home. Mild nutrition, minor, but you'll. Oh, cool! We made a large sculpture. Great caravan arrived. A poor sculpture. Well, they're increasing their art skill. Uh, three times with Rosalie, or three X. The sculpture bears an artwork of seven lightning strikes, nearly enveloping three bas basins. Uh, Rosalie watches with awe on her face. The work seems to express plenty. 
As an interesting contrast, an aardvark floats behind the focal point. The artwork relates to a flash storm that threatened Rosalie's town on the 10th of April, May. All right, we got prosthetics. Good, that was fast. Let's now get the multi-analyzer, which will not be as fast. And Samantha, you can, you can just turn right back around and start researching. Uh, Camaro. Yeah, you ran out of stuff to do. Which is a little surprising. Uh, you do growing. And I guess we're not growing right now. We could grow more. I guess. We could plant some trees? Eh, I don't know. Or we could cut some trees down? Well, you're, you're doing some stuff right now. You're hauling some stuff around. Um... So let's make a harp. Now that we can, right? Is that recreation? Mm. Nature shrines. Oh, this is for the psychic stuff. So not only is there a psychic meditation, there are different types of meditation. Spiritual beings. This is for tribal psychasters. Um, yeah, let's get a meditation spot. If a focus object like a sculpture is nearby, the psychaster will be able to focus on it to boost their psi focus gain. Uh, however, different people are able to use different focus objects. That's interesting. Um, I guess let's put one here for now. An eerie wax. Are you a particular kind of? Yeah, look at this. There's heat and there's psi focus. I need more psi focus. There's not like a psi focus priority. So I don't know how you do that. You're going to attempt to recruit Lincoln. Yeah, now... Yeah, okay. So this mechanic is pretty much the same. The heat. And psi focus. And look how much happier you are now. You don't have that... Uh, you're not constantly in pain, so everyone should be happier because of that. Yeah, psychic harmony plus eight. Oh, yeah, Ariopkis wants an impressive bedroom. We're working on it. Um, this is... Interesting. What can we do? What, how, how do we know what kind of psychic meditation you like? Um, does it... I wonder if it t tells us anywhere. Um... Great, now we can recruit Lincoln. Very nice. I would think... Oh, Eltec staff. I would think it would tell us somewhere around here, but... Maybe here? I mean, maybe it doesn't. Maybe, maybe everyone can use every kind of meditation. Like, it would be cool to get a large nature shrine. Look at that. It's affecting buildings, or... How does this... All right. A large nature shrine for honoring spiritual beings. Tribal psychasters can focus on the shrine while meditating to increase eye focus gain. Nature shrines lose their power if they are if they are close to artificial structures. Oh, those are bad lines. Um, so they always build in nature. Are always built in nature. Since they look like natural objects to unobservant outsiders, raiders will generally ignore them. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's build one. Uh, right there's... Good. Uh, we have the wood, and we'll, we'll get more. We have people to cut now. Look at this. We have two people that have nothing to do. Okay, now... Now let's hunt these mega slobs. Did we just tame a donkey? I think we did. Beautiful. Our first donkey in this game. Donkeys are the best animals. All right. Cotton 60% grown. Or some of it is anyway. Uh, Seraphix. All right, you're hauling now. Good. And we also need to focus on getting more armor for for you. Awesome. We've got the other donkey. Of 
quack. Um, we may need more storage space sooner than later. We have a lot of blocks, which is nice. We're not doing anything with them. Um, I should probably use blocks for all of this. Okay, hold on. Oh. All right, are you hurting the legs? And the brain. I, You're probably not moving very fast right now. Um, 2.88, yeah, pretty slow. Rosalie, you can just flee, please. Okay. So yeah, Rosalie should be able to just kite this thing. Are you up? Because you can help. Never mind. No need. Great. Way to go, Rosley. Getting better at hunting. Low food. Oh, yeah. Well, we have some things to hunt. And we have two cooks. Okay. Okay. And we have more food growing. A bunch more. Um, we do have hydroponics now. Oh, right, we were getting... Oh, yeah, did we... We researched geothermal, didn't we? We did. I think we're going to want to make one of these. Let's do that. Uh, if we put it here... We could. We could put it here. Um, kind of. We'd have to build walls around it. Because it does pre create a lot of heat. Hmm. And that would be pretty tight if we did that. Right? Like, they would only have a one-by-one one area to get through here. But that might be okay. It would look a little weird, but at least we'd have this geothermal generator right here. Even if it's weird. Um... Yeah, that's right. And then two more. Uh, one, two. One, two. Yeah. I guess so. It is weird. They won't have a lot of room here, I may, but maybe that's okay. It's just a hallway. Is it? Is it okay? Maybe I ignore it? I don't know. I could shorten these bedrooms a little here. Or maybe we'll get more bedrooms and we'll get rid of these. Or something. Or convert them into big bedrooms here at some point. I think I will do this for now. Uh, we will need a door to get in. And, yeah, maybe just like that. And it'll have to be unroofed, of course, for the temperature. And we'll do the inside later. Okay. I just don't want them building a roof there. All right, that'll be good. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I wonder if there are other kinds of shrines we can get. Uh, I, I'm so used to pausing it, but I had changed the settings uh, for, like, mild risks to pause during. All right, you're far away. You were shot in the lungs, the left paw. Um, What's your speed? 3.7. Rosley's at... 3.9. Okay. I think run. Run back. Where's Seraphix? Um, yeah. Seraphix, come here. Um, and where's Eerie Wax, too? Let's try this out. Whoa, look at this. Look at this new menu. This is, There's so much here. And they added more psychic abilities, so how is that going to... I guess they're, they'll add another row.
Um, so what is the H? Oh, heat gain and psi focus cost. And it's a percentage of psi focus. That's interesting. It's not a hard amount. This does change how we're going to use things. Oh, neural heat dump. Right, it puts you into a psychic shock. That's a new thing. Um, I don't want to go crazy here. I think we can just burden it. Yeah, this definitely changes how we're going to use our psychic abilities. Let's just make it slower. Oh, and there are no more psychic hangovers. So we no longer have to do the pain block after each thing, which is nice. All right. Rosley can continue. Run back. Yeah, hold on a second. Fix. Don't get shot. All right. Um, yeah, I think Airywax is done here. There we go. Good, good. All right, so we got to try out the new uh, psychic mechanic. I don't know how to make him meditate. You're training a muffalo. Yeah, I can't right-click and say meditate. Did we build the shrine yet? No, we're in the process. I wonder if it has a quality to it. Where's Jarvis? All right, that's cool, Jarvis, but... Let's check this out. Oh, I've been recording this episode too long. Let's build this and finish. Uh, yeah. I haven't recorded in a week, and I'm, the last things I recorded were the Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup episode, so those are a little longer, and I'm, not, I'm used to that. All right, let's do it. And then we're going to call it an episode. All right, we got Lincoln. Uh, this is taking a while. You know what? It's going to be a surprise for next time. Big cliffhanger. We're going to look at Lincoln next episode. I enjoyed playing with you today. I'll see you then. Bye, everybody.